Hi kiddos, it's Riley and I am back for another Adria video for you all. Today I am not regressed because I wanted to talk to you about being your own carer. I feel like this isn't a topic that is talked about very often within the age regression community because it's pretty normalized to have a carer or want a carer, but of course you do not have to have one or you do not have to want one in order to be a valid regressor. But sometimes we get put in positions where we have to be our own carer, not by our own choice, and that can really suck. So today I wanted to give you a few little tips and tricks for being your own carer. I'm sure there are more things that I'm not going to mention. You're going to have to do some of the research yourself, but I do hope that at least a few of the things that I mentioned can help you out. Learning to be your own carer can help keep you on track. It can enhance your independent regression as well as provide you with a sense of pride and accomplishment. The first thing that I'd like to suggest is to set up a sticker chart and reward system. This is something I did for myself at the beginning of the year, and soon I'm actually planning on doing a video about how I made my sticker chart and kind of what I put on it. So if you guys would like to see that, let me know on Twitter or Instagram. You can include things like daily checklists, chores, or whatever makes sense to you in your daily life. And it's a really good way to help keep you productive even when you're regressed. And giving yourself rewards when you reach certain goals can help provide an incentive for you to get more things done. And it doesn't have to be expensive you don't even have to spend money on it. It could be as simple as having a regression night and setting aside three hours to just be small in color. My second tip is that when you are not regressed, plan out activities for your regressed self to do. Give yourself small homework assignments or pictures to color. Kids workbooks for kindergarten, first grade, second grade are usually really good for this. So when you're big, you can tear a couple pages out and put it with your regression stuff. So when you regressed, your big self already thought of your little self and you can just go and you have things to do. You can also write a list of things that you enjoy to do when you're small and keep it somewhere that you'll see it. So it could be somewhere discreet like keeping it in your pocket or in the pocket of a journal or if you can be a little bit more public about it you can tape it to the wall. Another good place to keep it where you could really keep it hidden and probably not at risk of somebody else finding it is through a notes app on your phone or hidden somewhere on your phone you know. But that way when you're small and can't think of things to do, your big self already thought of that, and you've got a list of activities and things you can do. Another thing to piggyback off of this, set yourself up with a regression bag when you're not regressed, a tote or something you can keep your most used regression gear in. So that way when you do regress, you can just go straight to the bag and you've got all that stuff there. My third tip for being your own carer is to practice self-care and self-love regularly. And I feel like this is very, very underrated. One of the main premises of a carer is to provide love and comfort and safety. And it's really important when you're being your own carer to love yourself like a carer would. Like you would if you were caring for someone else or how you'd want another carer to care for you. You gotta care about yourself like that. I know it's obviously easier said than done, but it's definitely something I think we can all work on. Another thing to go with this is to keep yourself clean. So this could go with the rewards chart of having a morning routine or night routine and make sure you're keeping up with proper hygiene, keeping your space clean, trying your best to eat as healthily as you can. But of course it's okay to have days or sometimes a week here or there where you're not the healthiest. Don't feel bad about that, everybody does it and it's fine. But putting a little bit of effort into trying to keep yourself safe and healthy is a good step towards being your own caregiver. Treat yourself to little acts of kindness. And by that, I mean positive self-talk. You could recite affirmations to yourself. If you have a couple extra dollars, you could order something off of Wish and by the time it gets here, you'll probably forget it. Do nice things for yourself. Treat yourself to one of your favorite meals. Let yourself have small time. Let yourself enjoy the things you want to enjoy. And you can also schedule in specific times or days to do certain acts of self 
self-care to help keep you more on track. I know a lot of people like to do a self-care Sunday where they take Sunday and just do a bunch of self-care things, whatever they want to do, and it really works for them. So if you can do that or even take a couple of hours throughout the week to do that, that would be great. The last tip I have to being your own carer is to be patient with yourself. Being a carer isn't easy and it's probably more difficult to be a carer for yourself than it is for somebody else. You don't have to be perfect in being your own carer. And just like being a caregiver for somebody else, it's a learning experience. You'll have to learn what works for you and what doesn't and you'll have to learn how much control you really have over doing things like sticking to a rewards chart when you don't have that kind of external body helping you with it. So being your own care can definitely be different for everyone, but I feel like I say that in almost every video because regression can be so different for person to person, and that's okay, it's valid. The only requirements for regression are that you revert back in age mentally and that it is non-sexual and without a power exchange. That's it. That is the only requirement for regression. All right, my friends, I hope this video could help you out just a little bit. And if you would like to see more videos all about age regression from me, you can subscribe to this channel because I post over here a couple of times a week. But if you would like to keep up with me day to day in between uploads, you can follow me over on Instagram, which is at crayons and pencils, or over on Twitter, which is at crayon kiddo. I have a Ko-Fi linked down in the description if you feel called to support my content. All of those tips really go to helping me out pay bills, pay for gas, and I appreciate every single one of them. But if you'd rather spoil a baby or get some ideas for your own wish list, I have an Amazon wish list link down there as well. I love you guys so very much and I will see you soon. Goodbye.